So explanations of attachment, this time Bowlby's theory. So Bowlby's monotropic theory, you might see it referred to as, or Bowlby's theory of attachment. Now it's important that you really read the question that you were given because Bowlby has two theories within attachment. So it's really important that you read the question and you talk about the right one in your answer. So we need to be aware of Bowlby's monotropic theory, in particular, the concepts of critical period and an internal working model. So they're the two important features within Bowlby's theory. So the assumptions are that attachment isn't learned, it is involved, it is innate, it is present from birth, and it has evolved because it increases the chance of survival and therefore later reproductive success, and that infant attachment behaviour in both babies and their caregivers has evolved through the process of natural selection. So the ones that survived demonstrated this type of behaviour and then it passed on to future generations and offspring. So. The key concepts is that it's adaptive, there are social releases, there is a critical period, remember we need to be um, particularly aware of that, monotropy, internal working model, in particular very aware of that, and a continuity hypothesis. So it's adaptive because children have an innate drive to form an attachment to a caregiver because it has long-term benefits. It will um, increase the chances of their survival and therefore in turn increases the chances of later reproductive success. There are social releases. So social releases are certain characteristics that babies are born with that elicit a caregiving response. So they could be smiling, crying, and they're things that encourages a person to um, be a caregiver, to provide care for that infant. There is a critical period, so remember this is particularly important. The idea that if attachment doesn't play, take place during a certain period of time, then it will not take place at all. So Bowlby suggests that the critical period for attachment in humans is before the ages of two and a half years. And if it doesn't happen during that stage, it won't be possible to do so afterwards. Monotropy, so Bowlby believed that there is one special attachment that has particular importance and that is towards one individual which is the primary attachment and in particular mothers. Internal working model, so a very important aspect again we need to be aware of this because of the specification highlights this in particular. So attachment that forms between the caregiver and the infant creates a framework and expectation for all future uh, relationships. So it's like um, forming like a blueprint of what you expect your your adult relationships to be like in terms of um, romantic relationships and friendships. And the infant develops his model gradually and it forms a group of con concepts about relationships and what they expect uh, from others and how they are expected to behave in relationships. And continuity hypothesis. So the idea that we form an internal working model and that is consistent and the type of attachment that we have as an infant is consistent in later life. So there's a link between early attachment and later behaviour. So if you're securely attached as a child, you'll be securely attached as an adult. So in terms of um, some questions, you might get an application question, you might just get a simple outline, Bowlby's theory, of attachment or Bowlby's monotropic theory. So again, be careful to read it um, carefully. So Abby has had a happy, secure childhood with parents who loved her very much. She now has two children of her own that she loves very much too. The two children make friends easily and are confident and trusting. Referring to Abby and her family, explain what psychologists have discovered about the internal working model. So um, Abby's secure childhood relationships have ensured that she has a positive internal working model about relationships and it means that um, her view of the relationships with the primary caregiver her parents acts as a template for future relationships and um, her understanding of how relationships has been carried forward so that she now has a positive and secure relationships with her two children um, and her two children are using their securely attachment towards Abby to develop their own uh, positive and secure internal working model of relationships. So they're easily able to make friends, they are confident and trusting. So the continuity of um, Abby's secure attachment as a infant 
has passed on to her having a secure attachment and being a good quality of attachment she's providing for her children, which is forming, allowing them to form their own secure um, internal working model about their future relationships in terms of friendships and it will influence their later romantic relationships. So in terms of evaluation, so we have some supporting evidence for the theory then. Um, the internal wording model does predict patterns of attachment and it says that we pass from one generation to the next. So um, Bailey studied 99 mothers um, with poor attachment to their own parents and they were likely to have uh, poorly attached um, attachments to their own um, offspring and infants. Um, contradictory evidence, so the evidence of monotropy is mixed. So Schaefer and Emerson found that most babies did not attach to one person at first, but a small minority um, for multiple attachments at the same time. So monotropy might have been overemphasized by Bowlby. We have some other explanations. So the role of the temperament, once again, so it's important in the development of social behavior. Bowlby may have overemphasized the, the role of the quality of attachment and how that could um, influence later uh, relationships and continuity. So um, it could be that it is temperament that is influencing a child's social behaviour with their peers and uh, future romantic relationships, not the quality of attachment they had with the, the parents. And it might not be particularly useful because it's um, socially sensitive in the implications on the mother. So Berman argued that mothers are blamed for anything that goes wrong in the child's life and that pushes mothers into making certain lifestyle choices. So it might feel that the mother might feel that they aren't able to go back to work when they would like to do so and they have to stay home and look after the child because it might have long lasting um, implications for the offspring, which um, puts an awful lot of pressure on mothers. Um, now this is an eight marker, it could equally be asked as a 16 marker. One theory about how and why babies form attachment is Bowlby's monotropic theory. Outline and evaluate Bowlby's monotropic theory of attachment. Now for an eight marker at um, A level, your AO1 is worth three marks and your AO3 is worth five marks. So it's a completely um, half of a 16 marker as opposed to six and ten it's uh, three and five so you should still be spending the majority of your time on your evaluation and um, most of the essay should be in terms of evaluation so about a third should be your outline and then two thirds should be your evaluation